Last week, I did a video on why Wookiee Jedi were so rare. They definitely are, but we have still seen eight examples of Wookiees in the Order over the years, and today I'm going to cover all of them. Starting with the most prominent and most well-known, Gunji was a youngling during the Clone Wars. He traveled with several other younglings to Ilum for the Gathering, a trial in which Jedi would find a kyber crystal to power their very first lightsaber. With the help of the droid Professor Hu Yang, Gunji made his hilt out of the wood of a bylark tree, the bark of which was said to be as strong as metal. His ship was boarded by pirates during the return journey to Coruscant, and the youngling's chaperone, Ahsoka Tano, was taken captive. Gunji and the other younglings rescued her, eventually working with the pirates to escape an attack by General Grievous. He survived Order 66 and returned to his homeworld, Kashyyyk, with the help of the rogue clones known as the Bad Batch. There, he defended a village from Trandoshan and Republic invaders. Jumping back hundreds of years to the High Republic era, Beryaga was a Jedi Padawan apprentice to Jedi Master Nib Asek. They assisted the planet Hetzel alongside several other Jedi in the Great Hyperspace Disaster. When the debris of a destroyed ship exited hyperspace at impossible speeds, the Jedi diverted it from the populated world, saving as many lives as they could. It was revealed the disaster was purposefully designed by a group known as the Nile, who began a violent campaign against the Republic, the Jedi, and their combined expansion into the Outer Rim. Murray was present for the Nile attack on the Republic Fair and the destruction of Starlight Beacon. He was last seen battling Rathtars that had been set loose on the doomed space station, and his fate is currently unknown. A Wookiee Jedi Master named Arkoff could be seen defending the citizens of the planet Banshee from the Nile during the same era. Not nearly as much is known about him right now, having had a smaller role in both volumes of the Edge of Balance manga. However, he will appear in the next installment as well, which takes place 150 years earlier in the timeline. He will take part in the Battle of Dalna as a Jedi Knight, fighting against the predecessors of the Nile, a force cult called the Path of the Open Hand. But that brings us to the end of our canon Wookiee Jedi characters, so let's jump in to some examples from Star Wars Legends. Lobaka was probably the most famous Wookiee Jedi character before the creation of Gunji. He was the nephew of Chewbacca created for the Young Jedi Knight series of books. As he studied the Force at Luke Skywalker's Jedi Praxium, he grew close with the twin children of Han Solo and Leia Organa, Jason and Jaina. After Chewbacca's death at the start of the Yuuzhan Vong War, Lobaka offered to continue his uncle's life debt to Han Solo by working closely with his children. He was temporarily exiled to Dagobah after the events of the Swarm War when he inadvertently breached Jedi security. In the Second Galactic Civil War, Loi was forced to fight against Jason Solo, who had fallen to the dark side, becoming the Sith Lord Darth Kytus. Jumping back into the Republic and Clone Wars era, Taivako was the Jedi Master who trained Plo Koon. He was a highly respected member of the Jedi Council who was killed in the opening skirmishes of what came to be known as the Stark Hyperspace War. One of his dying wishes was that his former Padawan take his seat on the Jedi Council. Kurlaka was another Wookiee Jedi Master of the Clone Wars era. He served as an instructor at the Almas Academy. Shortly after the Battle of Naboo, he discovered an ancient Sith artifact called the Pulas, which was drawing his students to the dark side of the Force. He recovered it, resisted its powers, and delivered it to Coruscant for safekeeping. He died during the Clone Wars fighting against a former student named Reich Moon. The novel Edge of Victory, Conquest, features an unnamed Wookiee student. And finally, even though this final character is technically not a Jedi, I should mention Rur, a Force-sensitive member of the Jedi Order, which predated the Jedi Order by tens of thousands of years. Rur held the highest rank possible as Temple Master of the Great Temple on Tython. And those are all the Wookiee Jedi characters that exist in both Star Wars canon and Legends. I have a feeling we will see more and more of them in the future, despite their rarity to the Jedi Order. If you want to learn why they're so rare, you can check out the video I did answering that question in the cards. Let me know who your favorite Wookiee Jedi is in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.